Palpating in this video the most medial layer of the erectors, which is known as spinalis or spinalis, depending on how you want to say it. And reality wise, there's only one section that's palpable, and that's going to be in the thoracic version. There is some literature on services, but it's just very small and it's not really worth our palpation because um, it's blended in with the mother muscles in that area. So what I'm going to be looking for is spinalis thoracis and the lowest attachment is going to be on the spinous process of lumbar vertebra number two. Now I've located the top of his iliac crest and if I move central from that, this often brings us onto the spinous process of lumbar four. So I'm going to count up three and then two, and it's not on the posterior aspect, it's more on the lateral aspect of these spinous processes. So here's lumbar two, one, thoracic 12, and 11. So it's originating on these spinous processes from thoracic 11 to lumbar two or vice versa. And then it's going to be inserting on spinous processes above. So again, T12, T11, it actually skips two without attaching to number 10 or nine, and then starts inserting here on eight, seven, six, five, and four. So the fibers for this muscle actually go like so, with the lowest attachment going all the way up to the highest attachment, so that makes it quite unique in comparison to some other muscles. And so you really get a thickening that's starting to happen in the central portion of this muscle, and it's quite thin on both of its ends. Now for certain individuals, if you ask them to extend and lift up, you will actually see this muscle starting to show up. And it almost looks like the erectors split apart here and they start going more lateral for longissimus and iliocostalis. And right in that central section right here is exactly where you're finding this spinalis thoracis. So you can go ahead and relax down. So I'm on the same side as me, but I could easily just roll off the SPs onto the opposite side. You're basically right inside what's known as the laminar groove, and you're just strumming the most medial erector tissue that runs along the spine here. So this is basically how you're gonna be palpating it or treating it is just treating off the spinous processes. So again, he can lift his torso up a little bit, excellent. You can quite easily feel the most medial fibers here and go along, which you can see the thickest concentration really is in this part and it really thins out at top and bottom. And you can come back down, okay? So there's not a whole lot to that one um, other than just being in the right location and palpating the correct part of the spinous processes. Because this muscle really is just SPs to SPs, it doesn't have a rotational function. Um, you can see the most of its actions really in coming from just extending this part of the spine. So in a bilateral activation, it's going to extend the spine. And if you were trying to focus on one, it would be doing a little bit more of a slight lateral flexion of the spine through there. Um, so no rotational component for spinalis in comparison to the other two erectors which do ipsilateral rotation. This one's just doing extension and lateral flexion of the spine. That's going to conclude our palpation of spinalis thoracis.